Update 4 on what is now Hurricane Humberto, currently with winds of 75 miles per hour, pressures 992 millibars, current position 16.0 degrees north, 28.9 degrees west, and that puts the storm just west of the Cape Verde Islands right now. Um, far enough not to cause any adverse conditions over there, but uh, still not far from the islands at this time in the eastern Atlantic, expected to move towards the north-northwest as a Category 1 hurricane before eventually weakening to a tropical storm due to uh, conditions not being as favourable as they currently are right now um, and one factor of this is the sea surface temperatures you can see here as the storm moves towards the north northwest it will probably fall out of the 26 degree bracket so um, that means that the storm will probably encounter more unfavorable conditions and these sea surface temperatures wouldn't su support any further development at least for a time being until it turns back towards the west anyway uh, this is what the intensity comparisons say the models first of all here they are um, uh, expected to peak in the next day or two as a 70 uh, 80 maybe 85 90 mile per hour hurricane perhaps uh, but not likely to reach Category 2 status. Uh, the storm expected to move towards the north-northwest or maybe towards the north and then eventually turning back towards the west. A little bit of a reverse S shape perhaps um, as it turns back towards the west there. Um, the shear comparisons, you can see how time goes on. Um, forecasted initially to reach a low not far from zero and then eventually um, gradually rise again after that eventually becoming unfavorable in three or four days time um, the sea surface temperatures as I pointed out earlier falling below 26 degrees the threshold for tropical cyclone sustainability uh, but could rise back up above 26 degrees later on in four or five days time uh, the relative humidity comparisons are expected to drop over the next few days initially rising but then eventually dropping to around 50 40 percent which is uh, better barely, could, barely um, conducive towards development. So this is the current satellite imagery. You can see the past few hours of imagery here. The first daylight images coming in the floater imagery now. Uh, you can see how it's moving towards the northwest, curving towards the north really. Um, and possibly an eye trying to form there on the um, infrared imagery there um, as it moves towards the northwest. You can see over the uh, Cape Verde Islands not too much um, in terms of adverse weather going on there but you can see all that dry air off to the northwest of the storm which could interfere with any further development which is why I'm going to say that the storm will have real, real difficulty reaching category 2 status and could even peak at what it's at right now 75 miles per hour. We'll have to see how that one goes um, but the storm may pull a bit of a surprise you never know in this part of the Atlantic um, but that's the current imagery you can see it moving towards the northwest expected to continue moving towards the north or north northwest um, in the next day. So as of September 11th at 12 o'clock UTC, the, we currently have a few systems active. Invest 94C south of Hawaii, 93L in the Atlantic, uh, moving over the Yucatan Peninsula now with a 30% chance of development. Tropical Storm Gabrielle weakening near Bermuda. Humberto, obviously the first hurricane of the season, and Invest 97W in the Western Pacific right now. Uh, this is the Atlantic Ocean. You can see all three systems fairly clearly here. Gabrielle, that most of the uh, storm is displaced towards the centre um, further east. So Bermuda might be getting a little bit of rain from that. Um, more on that later in uh, Gabrielle's update. Obviously Humberto down there and Invest 93L. Uh, which could develop into a tropical storm in the next few days when it emerges over the Gulf of Mexico. It's the uh, eighth tropical storm um, Humberto is, uh, the first hurricane of the season, about time too. It's um, it occurred only three hours before the record first hurricane, latest first hurricane to form, if that makes sense. That was set by Gustav in 2002, which formed um, around 12 o'clock UTC on September 11th, but this one formed around 9 a.m. UTC this morning. Um, and you can track this storm at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking .html. That's the main page for the storm tracking information. Uh, there you're presented with the overview map showing all storms, um, including invests and post tropical systems as well, with tables at the top and bottom which shows their intensities and indeed any warnings that are currently in effect. Uh, so in between videos, especially with Gabrielle right now with the warnings in Bermuda and possibly in Canada later on, um, you'll want to keep up to date on the website in between videos. That's where the most up to date information will be. You can also find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook and Twitter, just search Force 13. You should find us fairly easily enough and uh, please do show your support by doing the usual means of engagement, by uh, commenting or whatever that else you want to do. Uh, subscribing might help as well um, if you want to keep up to date with the videos. But um, until the next video on Humberto, which will probably arrive uh, sometime tomorrow, September the 12th, that's all for now.